Wheat and corn prices have been sideways or down the past couple of months. Joining us now is Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist, with some talking points as we sort of turn the corner toward the end of the year. And, and Kim, let's talk about the export competition right now for wheat and corn. Well, the export competition is pretty stiff. Uh, with wheat, our, the exports are probably right, right near USDA's uh, projections. With corn, they're, they're lower than, than projected. Uh, the former Soviet Union countries on the wheat, uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, uh, Ukraine, all had relatively good crops. They're putting that out to Black Sea. Uh, they're taking those uh, northern Af North Africa and uh, the Eastern Asian markets. You got Australia that's got a, uh, a record wheat crop coming in. It's raining now. It's uh, lowering, lowering the, uh, the quality just a little bit. So they're going to have a record amount of feed wheat, but they've also got a record crop. So they're going to have some exportable wheat. And they're taking that uh, uh, other market, the Chinese, the China, Japan, the market right in there. So we've got on each side of, of that, those continents, we've got stiff export competition. Also, as Australia, they're ending the year with a record amount of feed wheat. Their, their rains are, uh, their wheat's deteriorating. They've got, that's going to create more feed wheat. That's going to go into those Asian markets, and that's going to reduce the export demand for corn. That's going to be negative for corn prices. Okay, we always hear market folks talking about the value of the dollar. Kind of clear things up for us and give us your take. Well, that's the other thing that's been impacting uh, the exports of the last couple of weeks or really the last month and a half or so. Uh, that uh, value of the dollar on the index has been running from uh, 74.86 to about 79.87, about a five point spread. But that five point spread from the bottom to the top is about a 6% change in price or around 16 or 17 cents a bush or $40 a ton. And the U.S. wheat is already overpriced relative to the Russian or the Kazakhstanian wheats or the Australian wheat. And so it, it makes it harder to export our markets. Uh, that that uh, index now is near the top side. Okay. Of course, the drought, we've talked about it at length this past year. Kind of where, have we, where are we now market-wise? Well, market-wise, I think uh, it's, the drought's not having much impact. There's some concern there. but. You know, if you're in the eastern eastern part of the hard red winter wheat area, uh, the, the crop really looks good. I think of where we've got the uh, dry areas, that's, that's a low area anyway. The drought uh, is probably going to last predicted into the April time period, April, maybe May. And finally today, what's your take on the fund situation? Well, the funds have been spinning their way out of the market. Uh, they're, they're relatively uh, just ver barely long in wheat. Uh, they're, they're even in corn to short and they're negative in soybeans. Uh, the funds right now are essentially out of the markets. Okay, Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist. We'll see you next week.